Hello everyone, today we will be talking about B4X Pages. B4X Pages is a relatively new cross-platform framework for managing pages. And with pages, I mean the layout container. It can be similar to B4A activities, B4J forms, or B4I pages. And while I say framework, B4X Pages is a regular B4X library. You can actually see the source code inside the b4xlib file. There are two purposes behind b4x pages. First is to make it simple to develop b4a apps. As I'm sure you know, the activities lifecycle is complicated and developers building Android apps, especially apps with uh, multiple activities face all kinds of uh, complicated uh, challenges and B4X pages really make things much more simple. The second purpose is to make it simple to build cross-platform apps. In order to really appreciate the benefit of uh, using B4X pages, you need to be familiar with all the nuances behind the activities uh, lifecycle. I'm not going to go over it, it is uh, less important. There is a forum thread where I've listed all the issues or challenges that B4X pages solve. You can see it over here. I recommend all new projects to be based on B4X pages. This should be your first choice, even if you are not interested in cross-platform solutions. There is one limitation, it is related to B4A only, and the limitation is that the orientation is locked either to landscape or portrait. With that said, there are workarounds. You can always add another activity outside of the B4X pages and it can support multiple orientations. So let's see how to actually use B4X pages. We will build an app that uh, allows the user to write something and then to encode it with the QR code, you know, the square barcodes. It will be a cross-platform solution. And I'm starting with B4J. You can start with, with uh, whichever platform you like. If you are building a cross-platform solution, it is more convenient to start with B4J. So let's create a new project. And we choose B4X pages. This is the template. Note that the template doesn't do anything special. You can always, always start with a different template and change the code and the modules. So QR. The project is made of two modules. Main is the standard module for uh, B4J UI apps. We mostly don't need to touch it. Instead, we have B4X main page, which is our new starting point for our app. This module will be shared with B4A and B4I as well. We can see the folder structure and it's important to be familiar with it. So we have the main folder and then we have the platform specific folders, the shared modules. Currently there is only the B4X main page and the platform specific files. There is also a folder named shared files. We can put files here that will be copied automatically to the files folders, the platform specific files folder. We can already run this project Very nice. There is a warning here in debug mode in, when using Java 14, ignore it. I've downloaded a class named QR generator from the forum. I've put it in the, in the project folder. And now we need to add it like this, add existing models. Note that we will also need to add it to B4A and B4I projects. It doesn't happen automatically. And there is an important point here. Choose link relative path. If you choose copy to project folder, it will copy it to the platform specific folder and we don't want it. There are too many numbers here, so better to close it quickly. 
let's start with building the layout of the first page. We can use any views we like. If that was a real app, I would have probably used the XUI views for the text field, but let's just use a regular text field for now. And add button anchored to the right. I'm using generate as B4X view. In most cases, this should be the, the default option. And click event. Looks good. Okay, now we want to add the second page. Project add new model and we add a before X page. Here we will use the generator. The generator returns a bitmap, so we need an image view. I'm adding an image view. I'll save it to page two. Load the layout. Now I'm adding a public method, public sub, that will accept the string from the previous page. set the bitmap page two QR not the best name I decided to change to rename the page, so let's do it. I name QR page and change it here. This is bad. Now we need to add the page to before X pages. This is done with add page or add page and create. Each page is identified by an ID string like this. We can use this ID to get this page from in uh, other places. Like this. We will also use it to show the next page. Show page. Let's see. Let's run it. Okay. 
and it works. The next page shows. When we call add page, the page is not immediately created. The created event will not be raised immediately. This is uh, similar to lazy loading. We don't want all the pages to be created when the app starts. The pages will only be created once, right before they become visible. However, in this case, we want to access the page elements before the page is displayed. So instead of calling add page, we will call add page and create. The page will be added to the manager and also before x page created event will be raised. This is very useful and is something that you cannot do with activities, for example. So all we need to do is set QR string text field text and it should be working. Let's try it. Looks good. I can test it with my mobile device. You will not see it, but we can, for example, we can scan it. I'm testing it right now and it works. It asks me if I want to open it with Safari. Before X pages exposes all kinds of useful features and let's see how, for example, we can change the title, set title, and it expects a before x page object. So we pass me. And in the next page, we are ready to switch to the Android app. I'm choosing the project from the platform specific folder. And we need to add the two existing modules. Note that QR is the old module that was later renamed I'm deleting it and i'm adding qr generator and qr page link relative path now there are warnings about quickly we will close it there are warnings about the layout files let's start with the main one. We will also open the one, the B4J one. Select all, copy, paste. Let's set it better. Save the second page. Select all, paste, save it, and name it page two. There are no warnings. We can run the program. and it works. I'll show you a screenshot. Note that the image doesn't fill the image view like in uh, B4J. You can see it by hovering over the set bitmap method. In B4J, it fills the image view and sets the preserve ratio to true. And in B4A, the gravity is set to center. We can change the bitmap size here, but 
it doesn't really matter. Or another option is like this. And keep aspect ratio true. I can run it. And now the image is larger. Okay, let's quickly set the iOS solution before I open. Add existing modules. Relative. We will copy it from the before A layouts. Select all, copy, delete, save. We might need to set the text color, so let's see in a second. Change the package name. I'm running it. We need to change the button color. We will set it to system style. And it works. I'll take a screenshot. Okay, I'm done with this example, but I'll show you two things. This line is part of the before X pages template. We can control click it. And it will create a zip file with the three projects and without all the unnecessary files for such as the objects files. This is similar to file export as zip, but it works with before X pages, which are made of uh, three projects. And the second thing, these two lines manage the shared files. The custom build action takes care of copying updated files from the shared files to the platform specific folder whenever we run the app. And the second one does the same thing when we click on it. This is useful when you add a new file to the shared files. It will not immediately appear in the files tab. So the ID will uh, warn about it. So you can Control click and it will be updated. Not relevant for this tutorial as we didn't use any shared file. We are done with this video tutorial. It is worth learning the three pages example from the forum, you will find it. It shows some other features that I didn't show here. And there are many other threads in the forum about before X pages. And if you have any question, you can of course start a new thread and ask anything you like. Thank you.